What do you guys think about somebody just casually washing their hands in your food? Literally dripping solid water right on. I don't even know what this food is, but what what has occurred to me recently is I've, I was thinking about this because like here where I live, there's a lot of street vendors. Like if you go downtown or other places, you'll find a whole bunch of people selling really, really over expensive things that are really not worth that money. So like, for instance, the other day I was like, I want a slush, right? Like a slushy. And I walked up to a vendor cart and I asked a lady, I said, how much are your slushies? And she said $7 for a small and $9 for the large. And I almost couldn't believe that she was selling that shit for $7 for a small. That is insanely highly priced. That's almost unfathomably high. But I was also thinking about this, right? A lot of these people are standing at these food carts by themselves for hours, literally hours, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours straight sometimes. What are they doing when they have to pee? What are they doing when they have to drop ass? You know what they're doing? They're putting it in your food. They're peeing into bottles. They have to be, at least. They have to. There's no other way to say it than that. They're, like, leaning over and hopefully, like, looking over, seeing if anybody, like, sees them, and then whipping out dick and then peeing in the bottle. And at least here in America, it's ambiguous. But in India, it almost kind of seems like they don't care. Like, these people will literally purposely tell you, show you their disgusting food traits, and then just throw it into the liquid or whatever food it is. And it's really ambiguous, too. They don't have, like the same type of equipment like when have you ever seen somebody cook with this a giant vat a giant like stirring thing of vat which looks very very uh unsafe by the way I, this thing looks like if it turned on its arms would be disintegrated but one thing i love about india is that it's like a speed run of food poisoning because these people i don't know what it is i've seen like people in india cooking with their feet and they're like throwing I don't know, body juice in your food. It's There's something about it. it just, just, just the beauty, the eminence, the beauty, the, just the absolute godliness of these people. I mean, if you live in India for any extent of time, you got to have like an ironclad stomach to even survive more than a few days. I mean, look, look at the way he's just like slurring it around. Like, is there not a utensil that you can use? Is there not like a, uh, I don't know, like a big spoon? I mean, you have this giant vat. Like, you don't have a big ladle that you can do it. Why does it have to be your hands? And then the fact that they just wipe it off with water. Like, oh, yeah, bro, let's just rinse your hands off. Even though we could have just put a giant spoon in here and did the same thing. And by the way, what's really interesting about this is, like, he's swooshing it around. Isn't this thing already going to, like, push the stuff around? Am I wrong? Isn't this just already a big blender? Why, does he, why did he even need to do that to begin with? Damn, dude. Fully fisting it. Damn, bro. I, I, I just don't understand. Like, this dude right here is literally looking at that shit like, bro, what are you doing, bro? Why is your hands all in my food, bro? What is this, salt? Why is your vat of salt so brown? He just grabs it. You know, sometimes you take a pinch of salt and you do this, which is okay. I'm not going to hate on you if you were cooking food for me and I was at your house and I saw you go like this. I would have no problem with that because I'm at your house and you're cooking me food. That's all right. But a random Indian man on the streets in a, in a big pot grabbing like a ton of salt and then just tossing it in is just something a little concerning about it. And then what, just like you, know, you saw the way he like tushed his hands across the top. He just used it as like a drain almost. See, like he d these people will do something sometimes. Like, why, how can you stir it with your hands a minute ago, right? Like, he fully had his hands in there, and he had the spatula the entire time. Which which tells me, you just wanted your, your hand grease in the food. And if you specifically ask for that, like, if I go up to you and I'm like, Hey, listen, man, can you, can you really put some of that Indian dandruff in my food? I really need those, like, dandruff flakes, those Indian dandruff flakes in my, in my whatever this is, is soup or whatever this is. Because... It's really authentic. I just need that the grease. I need the body. I need the body stench. Please enlighten my thing. It's just really annoying seeing that he did that, and then he also has the spatula right after. Yeah, he's really deep in that shit too, which is really crazy. Cause like, isn't this cooking as well? Do you not feel pain? Damn, dude. This literally the spatula is just right there too. 
he could just reach for the spatula and just start, you know, scraping up the bottom or whatever. And it'd probably be better, but he's just got to put his elbow all the way deep in there. And, and different pots, too, is insane. And these look like vats you would find at, like, a chemical plant. Damn. This dude's recording. Dude, if anybody's... Maybe they have a different set of rules over there. Because if I was this guy, I would just probably walk away. If I asked you, like, hey, man, can I get some of this food? And this dude just put his whole entire hand in there up to the elbow. I would probably... I, I'm walking away. That's uncomfortable for me to even look at. This, this is really messy. Maybe they just don't have the same type of shit that we do. But we use utensils here in America. Ugh. I don't think they wash the pots. I don't think they do wash the pots, man. This shit is burnt the fuck up. This doesn't even look edible. Whatever this thing is over here, I, I don't know what this is, but it doesn't look edible at all. It's super dirty. Really dirty. I mean, granted, they're probably cooking for days at a time, so this is like sewer juice water or whatever this is. It, it, it's probably been there for a very long time. Y you know, if you're, if you're going to India, if you're going to India, dude, and you want to eat the street food... It, it is like, you can't be weak. You just cannot be weak, dude. It, it, eating food in India is the equivalent of, like, living life on veteran difficulty. This has got to be, and you do it daily, it seems like. Um, because the street food is really, really inexpensive, apparently. Scrape it up. Don't know what that is. Bread. It's, it, they use the weirdest utensils, dude. Using a pot instead of, like, anything else. Okay. At least this guy's using actual utensils. I don't know what it is. Bean slop and bread. Oh, gotta use your hands. That doesn't look too bad, though. That's okay. Like, is there nothing else you can use? I just, like, I'm seeing him do that, right? Like, he's just picking it up really fastly and putting it into, like, the condom or whatever this is. Isn't there, like, a... A cup? Like, is there not, like, a big cup that you could just take and pour in for, like, any... Like, me, personally, I don't want my hands touching the food because I don't want to, like, wash my hands right after. I guess these people don't care or something. Maybe it's not, like, a top priority for them to wash their hands. Or maybe they're just washing their hands in the food itself. I have no idea. But for me, I would 100% not be trying to touch the food. But these people are adamant on literally touching the food. It, there, there's, not, there's not, like, a bowl or, like, a cup or even a spoon. A spoon would be better. I, I don't care if it takes longer. I just care if it gets into the thing without your hands touching it. Because I know you've been beat meat beating. Here in America, dudes are literally been getting caught. Like the street vendors, the street meat vendors, they've been getting caught. With, uh, beaten off into the stuff and shit like that. I couldn't even imagine what it's like in India. I mean, these dudes are literally just sitting there throwing food in your shit. It's like a condom. <laughs> Okay. I mean, it looks cool, but... Bro. I just, I just love that he, like, sp sploshes his hands in there to clean them off. Like, because <laughs> he just handled so much other food, he just throws them in there just to wipe them off a little bit. Keep that. Just, like, just, just real quick. You know, just give my hands a quick rinse in your food. Uh, I'm sure you don't mind me just real quick rinsing my hand in your food. I mean, it's not like I'm eating this. Oh. It looks cool because it's red, orange, white, and purple. It does look cool, but it's still... It's just depressing. This is a disgusting, depressing environment. Again, with this fucking vat that you found outside of the Chernobyl facility. Is there not a spoon? There's no spoons anywhere. They look cool, but I don't even know what it is. Yeah, I, I know about that, bro. Uh, I, I just don't know about that, bro. Um, didn't like you don't have a plate. Like you, in India, are pl are, are utensils just not used? Is there a reason why we're serving food literally on the floor? Out of all the places you can serve the food. Nobody thought to have a barrier in between the, the floor and the food. I mean, the dude literally scraped up the water from the street. Look at this. That's just street water. Like, it just got finished raining. And he's just, like, pushing it to the side. And the lady comes through and just drops rice or some type of potato on the floor. 
Is is nobody like nobody cares about that? Like, is it? It's just okay. Like, it's just fine. Does somebody just? And by the way, that that woman didn't even have shoes. Like, she was just walking on the floor without shoes, dusted feet, crunchy ass toes all over the floor, bunions, athlete's foot all in your food, and you're just body slamming that shit right off the right off the sidewalk. Look at that shit. Gotta gotta make sure it's nice and not moist, bro. That woman had no shoes, bro. No shoes. Drop it right down the floor. Dude, look at this guy's fucking toes are the most crunchy toes I've seen in a long time. What the fuck is this? What happened to your toe here? Why does it look like that? The crunchiest toes right next to your food, dude. Here, bro. What you here? Here's your slop. Oh, unite, unite the fucking sloppy whatever they just gave you with the street water. And then you just eat it right with your hands too, by the way. With your hands is insane, dude. I get it. I know in other countries, like in, in Islamic countries, you're supposed to eat with your hands. In some countries, it's like better to eat with your hands or whatever. Uh, I'll fuck with it, dude. Uh, I'm a big fan of having things in between to use as like a buffer. And the reason for that is because my initial reason, which is I don't want it on my hand. I just don't. I want it, If I have a fork or if it's like a burger, if it's a burger and you have like a, a, a piece of bread in between it, I got it. Like, that's fine. That's the buffer that you need. Eating this. There's, there's no buffer here. You're literally just getting street water, rice, and I guess some type of curry. Oh, and the bunions, the bunions from somebody else's foot, which maybe increases the flavor. Damn, everybody's eating this shit. Somebody, somebody got to let me know what is going on here. Is this street water or is this like oil? It, either way, it doesn't matter. I don't care. Like it's, it's only slightly better if it's, if it's like oil, I suppose. But regardless, eating this shit on a sidewalk or whatever the fuck this is where other people are walking I just don't get it. I don't understand, dude. Somebody help me. Like, they look very healthy. Like, they look like they've been eating well, but it just seems weird that they are eating so well while eating the food literally off the sidewalk. Like, they, look, this guy is literally stepping in the food residue. Here's your other slop, bro. <laughs> like, literally slop. He just drops it right on the sidewalk, and the guy just goes for it instantly. Ugh. Dude, that guy literally had a bunion. Look, he literally has a fucking bunion on his leg, dude. Right there, dude. Here, wash your hands with it. Yo, get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here. That shit is not natural, dude. She just spit in your food. Does that increase the, de the delicacy of it? Somebody gotta let me know if this is normal, dude. Because, like, where I live... If I went to a restaurant and the guy came through and I ordered like mashed potatoes or something and he just took my food, he's like, hold up, <laughs> right into my shit, I wouldn't say thank you, I'd leave. But this woman doing it, no problem. Like she could just literally hawk a mean loogie, loogie in your food like she's a fucking, like she's a Pokemon, dude. Like she's Bulbasaur, not Bulbasaur. Which one is it? The one that spews out the, the water? Whatever that one is. Blastoise. She literally Blastoise in water straight out her mouth into your food. Look at this shit, bro. What are you doing? What the fuck is that? She's spitting directly right into the vat. But, like, what is this? What is this for? D it, like, does the mouth have extra seasoning or something like that? How does she even have this much liquid in her mouth? Why? Does anybody eat this afterwards? Cool, bro. Yeah, just fucking stir that shit up. How does how does anybody look at this and go, oh man, I can't wait till that's done, bro. I, whoo, when mom spits into the fucking vat, that's how you know that shit's good. Oh, she's like casually picking stuff out of it too. What is that? Oh, somebody put some fucking leaves in this shit, I guess. Damn, was that from me? Oh, I right. yeah, just put it back in your mouth. Just chew it. Why not? I mean, it was already in your mouth, right? Oh, it looks dirty. Oh. Why do they have to make it so fast, though? Like, why do they have to make it seem like they're doing so much work when in reality it's not? You're not actually doing anything at all. You're just stirring a pot, stirring a pot extra fast.
I, I don't care. Yeah, I just don't care, bro. Here's your slop, bro. Here are the onions that have been sitting out on the fucking table for the past nine hours. By the way, I didn't wash my hands this morning. True. Okay. It's not... Okay. Not not the best so far. I mean, this guy looks very sweaty. I, I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to eat food from a guy that looks like he's been out in the street for like 40 hours, bro. Washing your hands on the food is crazy. You know, why would... You have a spatula. Like, there is a spatula right here. And he just insists on putting his hands on your food. I just... I'm not understanding it. What is the purpose? Why do we have utensils if we're just going to sit here and spit and then we're going to throw the food together with our hands and then afterwards wash off our hands in the food that you're making us bro it's just like it's just so crazy dude i literally saw the spatula and he's still scrubbing them together through his fingers i just gotta wipe a hold up bro let me just real quick wipe off my mouth bro this guy's on some different shit this guy's on some different shit, dude. I don't know how any, I don't know how everybody in this country doesn't have dysentery because this is actually incredible. This guy is literally washing his hands on your food. Slop. Here's your slop. <laughs> it's just slop. Slop bread and onions. I mean, I guess there are worse things that you can eat, possibly, like you know your mom's ass. But you know what I'm talking about. Like it's, it's just terrible. It is, I don't know why it's so easy for these people to fuck it up. And his hands are clean right now because he just he just really cleaned them off on your food. Like, why are your hands even there if you're... You know what I'm talking about? Like, what... Like, what, what is the purpose here? You're pouring oil into a vat. Why is this guy even here to pour the oil from the cup into the vat? What is the purpose? Maybe the measuring, I guess? Yo... Why are you putting your hands in a machine that's spinning, bro? Somebody call OSHA! You just have nothing else, huh? There's nothing else. There's no other... There's no spoons. There's no big elongated spatulas. None of that, dude. You just have to throw your hands at everything. Why? Why are you rinsing the eggs on your hands? Just throw the eggs in! Why do you need to have the eggs rinse through your fingers before it touches the vat? Couldn't you just have the vat? Like, get, move your hand out of the way. That doesn't need to be there. And you don't have to have that there. Am I wrong? Why is he rinsing his fingers with the eggs? It's already bad enough that he's scraped up the bottom of the pan with his fucking hands. Why? He just likes the feeling of the eggs going across his hands, I guess. Which is weird because, like, now I have to pay the price for it. Like, he likes the feeling of the eggs. And, therefore, you have to pay the price for all the amoebas that he's now putting in your food. Okay. Just toss it in, dude. Gross. Yellow. You went from white slop to yellow slop. <laughs> There's just nothing else. There's just no other... There's no other utensil we could use. We have to use our hands here. There's just nothing else? Alright. I've accepted it. I just... I don't know why he... And then to, to spread it out with your hands, too. Bro, you gotta touch every process? Every process of making whatever the fuck this is, you have to touch it. <laughs> I just don't know why he looked like that. The way he looked at him, bro. Like, he just, like, side-eyeing him. And just dips his fingers with whatever that is. Like, an eggshell. In this, like, this green liquid. This green phantom liquid. Here, here, you, here you go, bro. Diarrhea. Here's your diarrhea. And my fingernails. I hope you enjoy. Yeah, see, now, this is, this is unjust. This is just... There's really no forgiveness on this. At least with the other guys, I can kind of understand it. Like, maybe you just think that's, like, cultural. But to wash the dishes that you were just using to serve people in the, in the, street, in the street liquids is just, to me, 
I just feel like we're taking it too far. I, For me, personally, I just feel like this is a little bit too far. I don't know where... Like, is there no running water in India? Why do we have to use the street water? Like, oh man, we can't do the dishes today because it hasn't rained in four days. But when it does rain, guys, make sure you roll back through. Because, guess what, dude? Even though you're probably going to get, like, 50 million... Uh, I don't even know what you're even going to get from this, dude. It's probably some hidden diseases that you probably didn't even know about. He's literally washing the dishes with with the street water. Pure black street water, too. What Indian dudes was rubbing their feet into. Because Indian dudes don't wear shoes. I've never seen an Indian dude wear shoes. Unless it was, like, favela or whatever. <laughs> favela. Dirty-ass sink water. Street, straight from the street. This is like trash too. This is all trash. Dude, this is literally trash. Look, there's like bottles of water. I think it's like some kind of dish soap. I, I I guess it's like plastics and trashes right here. This guy back here is I guess this is their I guess this is where they're serving the food. They're just sitting here like, oh yeah, bro, don't worry. We got that good shit coming up right now. Hold up, we just washing the dishes. No soap in the in the in the street water. <laughs> He didn't even, like, all the other ones, he was like, he took them out of the street water and then had them rinse off real quick with the other water, but he just left that one in the water. Like, he didn't even bother. They got nice jeans, though. They fit right. You see what I'm talking about? Like, he rinsed that one off, and he went to go rinse this one off, and he was like, nah, fuck that. We don't need to rinse off this last one. This one don't really that, this one really don't matter that much, dude. Who's gonna be really eating that shit? Damn. Look at the fucking trash. Look at the trash just floating amongst your food. <laughs> your plate that you just ate off of. God damn. <laughs> this guy's just recording it. He's just like, yeah, this is this is great. This is awesome, bro. Keep stepping on it, man. Oh, bro, your bunions look so good in whatever this thing is. This white slop, this phantom white slop that you have on the floor. Keep going, dude. I love this stance he's got too, man. He's just, he's just feeling it. Like, he's just really feeling it. This is like what he does every single day. How much, how much do you have to do here, though? What is this stuff? Damn, he's, woo, damn, bro. Okay, damn, that shit's fucking meated. It's some kind of dough. Okay. Man, you got you got these just slaving, dude. Just just use your foot fungus to flavor up the dough, whatever this stuff is. I just don't, bro. I just don't. I just refuse to understand why these people. Use their hands every chance they possibly can get. This It just doesn't make sense to me, dude. I mean, you have utensils, right? There, there, there has to be utensils. I refuse. I just really refuse. By the way, all these dishes were freshly washed in the street. So, you know, you don't have to worry about dysentery or getting tapeworms or anything like that. Don't worry. You will get them. And you just served that shit on a plate? What is that? A, pa a pa piece of paper? Here you go, bro. Here's your slop. Here's a receipt. <laughs> what the fuck is he serving it on? What is that? Like a fly trap? Like the back of a fly trap? Out of everything you can use, though, our hands should not be the ones that we, we, we dip our fingers in. Because, like, you know when you haven't washed in a while, you get the black slop underneath your hands, underneath your fingernails? I feel like it would be really easy to get that working in India. I just really feel like that. Oh. Just scraping it up. I think that's just an egg. What is this, bro? You pay money for that? He's just tossing food, like, onto the... Damn. 
Man, what, the quality control between here and, like, in India is insane, bro. Like, if this is just okay to do, like, walk up to a street vendor and just see this dude, like, itching his nuts and then scraping your food together off multiple platters that he just washed on the street through the process of, like, dirty, disgusting water and then gives you your food and goes, like, yep, bro, here you go, man. Here's your good shit, $5. I mean, it's probably not $5. It's probably, like, what, $1.50 or $2 maybe? I don't know. But... In America, I think I'd rather spend the more money than, like, be in India and then, like, have my stomach fall out of my stomach because I can't eat any of this. This is all just, like, it's just too easy for these people to not use utensils. And I'm, I guess you're just expected to eat with your hands as well, which wouldn't be a problem if you ordered, like, a cheeseburger or a hot dog or even french fries because, like, that's, those are finger foods, right? Like, those are foods you use with your hands. But the fact that... Like, they don't give you any of that stuff. You're just supposed to eat it with, the, like, the fly paper, I guess. He's just, like, scraping it with his fingers. Here's your slop, bro. Right on the fly paper. You got a, you got, you got a piece of literature and you got something to eat. Why, why even bother, like, why even bother put your hands in it if you weren't even going to measure it out to begin with? Like, I guess he's measuring with the amount in his hand, and then he's tossing it in based off that. But it just seems, like, really interesting that, like, is there not a measuring cup? Like, you would think if you're, if this is, like, your art. If this is, like, what you do, why would you not invest in a measuring cup or some type of, like, device that could you, you could utilize to measure shit out instead of just handing it everything? How much you want bet? He, how much you want bet at the end of this? He just he just dips his fingers right into the, whatever the fuck this black this black water is. Cross contamination as well. Like it's fine to put multiple ingredients in the same cup, but he's like taking his hand, which was just coated in whatever that was, and then he put it in the other thing. Just like letting that whatever seasoning that was into this seasoning as well, which at that point you might as well just unite all the free, the seasonings together. Okay. Just toss everything in at that point, I guess. Yeah, I, I knew it. I mean, I knew it, dude. Just slide your fingers in it. Dude. It's just too easy, bro. Like he had, like you have this, right? You have this thing that you're using to like grind up this, right? But you don't have a, you don't have a measuring cup. You don't have a spatula. You don't got like, how do you have this, but you don't have a spatula? How do you, how does this happen? How did you get here? How did you buy this but you didn't buy a spatula? Dude, go to the Chinese dollar store. They're like $1. Literally. And they're made of wood. And they last years. It's, it looks like it's not even working. He has to keep going back and forth. Dude. Dude you know what's crazy? Is that this is the container that it's holding all the stuff in it. He could have easily just popped the top and just dumped it in. Instead, he had to, like, scoop it out with his fingers. Just to add in that extra flavor. And just wash his hands in that shit. Yep. Just too crazy, bro. How much do I bet he doesn't wash that? <laughs> he wiped off his hands. All right, guys. That's the end of the video today. I hope everybody enjoyed it. So, uh, if you did, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things. I'd appreciate tremendously because it helps me grow in the algorithm. So, if you could do any of that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. Uh, I want to thank everybody that's a member, everybody that's subscribed. Thank you so much. Everybody that does anything, any little bit of interaction is amazing. I do read all the comments, so make sure you comment. Um, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, Leave it down below by typing in candy or whatever candy you like the most because I have a Tootsie Roll here, but I don't think I'm going to eat it. It's been sitting in my pocket for like the last nine hours, ten hours or something like that. I don't know. It's been there for a long time. That's why it's smushed. I'm not very good at eating candy or like 
I have a hard time uh, having the candy in my house and then eventually consuming it. At least those particular types of candies. It's bad for your teeth and stuff. But anyway, doesn't matter. You know what's not bad for my teeth? You. Your amazingness. Your awesomeness. Your just super amazing, beautiful spectacularness. All of that is just so good. It's so beautiful. It smells so amazing all the time. It's hard for me to not talk about your amazingness on a daily basis. And I think it's really appropriate for you to acknowledge your beauty and your amazingness right now. Go ahead, look at your toes and then look up at yourself. <gasps> Amazing, so beautiful, so spectacular, so awesome. But anyway, guys, we're gonna end the video here. If you wanna check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, my Twitter, my Discord, all that stuff. It will all be linked in the description down below and also linked in the description of the channel and the description of this video. That's it. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.